Hello my lovelies, it's Addy here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a haul video for you guys. I know you guys love seeing haul videos, so I'm doing one for you guys right now. For a good two months, I've actually just been traveling from place to place. I went to different places in the Philippines and also out of country. So these are just most of the stuff that I ended up buying. And I say most of the stuff because I already gave away a few of the stuff that I bought for other people. So this is basically all of the stuff I bought for myself from all my travels. So yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet so you can become one of my lovelies. Yes, I would like all of you guys to become one of my lovelies, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you guys want to see all of the stuff I picked up in all of my travels, just keep on watching. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you already know that I spent Christmas in Cambodia. While I was there, I just picked up a few things for myself that I just wanted to buy. I was so happy when I saw this product because these are bio bamboo straws, so it's a set of five straws and I'm super excited to use these because I really really want to try not killing the environment every time I order a drink or take a sip out of something so it's great that I found a set of five bamboo straws and I'm really excited to use these if I remember correctly um, I got this from Shem Reap oh so actually you guys can order it if you want it's on www.idgherbs.biz I think this one cost me, what's a Cambodian currency? <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, so this cost me seven Cambodian money. Yeah, I know, I think it's seven dollars. What, how much was this? Oh, it was dollars. I have no idea why, but you can pay in US dollars anywhere in Cambodia, so yeah. Up oh, six dollars for a set of five straws. That's pretty good since these are all reusable. I also got lip balm. This is the Lotus lip balm. I actually got this from the night market. I know that Lotus is one of their more popular flowers, so I just wanted to try their lip balm in Lotus. I've actually never even opened it yet, but I did smell it before I bought it. I smelled the sample one and it smelled so good so I'm super excited to use this this one cost me two dollars the last thing I got from Cambodia is this pack of what are what is this compressed facial masks yes I actually stopped by Miniso and I got this pack of compressed facial masks because I've never come across this in Manisa's here in the Philippines so I thought it would be a cool thing to try out. This is the bamboo charcoal compressed facial mask and there is 40 pieces in one pack. That's I guess this will last me a month if I do a facial mask every day. This entire pack costs three dollars so that's about 150 pesos which I think is such a great deal if you want to do facial masks every day for over a month. So. Cambodia was awesome. I had such a great time spending Christmas there even though they actually don't celebrate Christmas as a country. It just so happened that the hotel we were staying at did celebrate Christmas so I think that's why we had those Christmas festivities and all that stuff. Anyway, another country I went to is Singapore and I kind of went crazy over all the different stores they had. Even though some of them I know exist here, it's just they have products that I've never seen before when I went to their store here. So I think that's why I ended up buying so much more from Singapore. Even though I spent less days there over Cambodia, I just ended up buying so much. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys the damage. First up, this one is up first. We have my little Sephora paper bag. This is actually the first store I went to, like straight from the airport. I went to Sephora and I just bought everything in this bag. There's no Sephora here in the Philippines. I mean, we have the Sephora website, but we don't have the Sephora, Sephora store. Even the website, lacks a lot of products that I actually look for. So I was so excited to check out Sephora. They had everything I wanted. Sadly, I could not buy everything I wanted to buy because, you know, I'm not made of money. But I did get the top two, 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 
<laughs> but I did get the top two things that I have been dying to get and I'm super excited to show you guys what I got. I got myself the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I am in shade 210 so I am so excited to actually use this. Ever since Rihanna came out with her line, I just wanted to try it for myself and when I tested it out in Sephora, I fell in love with it and I bought my very own bottle of Fenty foundation and I cannot wait to do a review video for you guys so stay tuned for that. This Fenty Beauty foundation cost me 50 SGD. I also got this Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop. I have been looking for this particular highlighter for years. I kid you not. Ever since Jaclyn Hill came up with Champagne Pop, I just wanted to buy it. I think it is the best highlighter that I've ever seen a YouTuber use, so I'm super excited to try it for myself. Yes, let's open her up. Look at how beautiful this highlighter is, and I cannot wait to try this out for you guys, of course, on a video, so stay tuned for that. Also, this Becca highlighter actually cost me 58 SGD, so it's more expensive than the Fenty foundation, but I think it's really, really worth it because I love, love this highlighter. When I tested it out in the store, I just fell in love with it. When I saw that it was $58, I thought about it for about two seconds and then I realized I love this highlighter so why not get it? I actually went into Sephora thinking that I would just end up trying all of the makeup that all of my favorite YouTubers recommend so I ended up trying a lot of things and the Fenty and the Becca are the ones I really really fell in love with so I just got them. Because I purchased over $100 from Sephora I got this free thing from them. What is this? It is a for a towel. It's actually really pretty and I like it so yeah. One of my friends told me to look out for this mall that has a lot of outlet stores. They have H&M, Aldo, Charles and Keith, all those good stores and I did find the mall. It was right across Ikea and yes I also bought from Ikea but I'll show you that later. But I found the mall and I checked out all the stores and I only bought from Typo. There was Cut On, there was Charles and Keith, there was Aldo, there was Polo, all of these brands. And they were all outlet stores, all in one mall, which is really amazing. By the way, if you guys go to Singapore, you should check it out. This is my Typo bag and I'm gonna show you guys what's in it. Something you guys should know about Typo. They have a section, which is usually in the back of the store, where they put items that are damaged and they sell it at super cheap prices. So of course, me being a bargain hunter, I spent most of my time in this section. All of the stuff I got came from that damaged section. And I say damaged because I really don't think it's damaged. But to their standards, it is. But to my standards, they're good. The first thing I got is this wooden, yeah, it's wooden. I got this wooden letter A for one. SGD. This is how the price tag looks like. It says nobody's perfect and it says faulty product and it actually tells you what's wrong with the product. So this one in particular, it just has a few pencil marks on them but I really didn't mind that because I'm gonna paint this gold anyway so I didn't care that there were random pencil marks on it and it was just one SGD so of course I got it. I also got this mini marquee light. It's battery operated and it is a letter A course a for Addy. I really love this product if you check it out it's in gold it has light things on it and this was just one SGD I know I can't believe it why is this one SGD um, and then I asked the girl what the damage on this is and she said it's because this battery compartment thing they lost the cover of it and that's why it's just a dollar but I tested this out and it actually works so I don't know I don't know why you're a dollar but I got it the original price of this is actually 15 SGD but I just got this one for one SGD just because this battery thing had no cover so yeah of course you can't go to typo and not walk away with a notebook so I actually got this a6 journal and it's brown and it's leather like i actually got this for my brother he just uses these notebooks up he just loves writing in them so i thought it would be a perfect gift for him yeah so this journal actually costs 12 sgd but 
since this one in particular lacked, you know that garter that goes from here to here, it just closes it up. Anyway, since this one lacks that garter, they sold this to me for two SGD. Oh yes, two SGD just because it didn't have that annoying garter thing. I actually don't even like the garter, so I think this looks really good. And last but not least, we have this. This is. My favorite, favorite buy from Typo. This is actually a planner, but I got it because I realized that I can actually replace this notebook with whatever notebook I want, and I will forever have a marble cover for all of my notebooks. So I'm super excited about that. I am obsessed with marble and rose gold, and this just has both. Look at how shiny that gold is, and look at how beautiful this marble is, and I wish you guys can touch it. It has a nice, smooth, matte finish to it, so I love it. This one was originally 30 SGD, but since it has scratches, which I cannot really see, but it has scratches somewhere here, they sold it to me for 5 SGD. So I got this beautiful planner for just 5 SGD and I love it. I cannot wait to use it and I think I can use this even beyond 2018. I actually don't care that there's a 2018 on this because marble is just so pretty. Next up, I have this set of makeup brushes. I actually didn't buy this. This was a gift from Mickey and Nick. They are a hair and makeup duo and I just met them in Singapore and they're so sweet. They gave me this as a gift. It has six brushes. Special shout out to Mickey and Nick. Thank you so, so much for these brushes. I cannot wait to use them. I, of course, bought tons and tons of food and one of the best snacks I came across is this one. It's some rice topper thing. And I say snack because I don't even eat it with rice. I just eat it on its own, but it's super good with rice as well. So if you guys come across this, just buy it. I actually saw it in every grocery I went to, so that's not gonna be a problem. I bought this one from Don Don Donkey, and the flavor of this is seaweed and egg. I also tried the salmon flavor of this particular brand, and it's also super good. This one is actually a dollar fifty, so that's pretty good considering you're not gonna use all of this on one meal. One of the best cookies I actually tried from Singapore is this one right here. This is an entire bucket of chocolate chip cookies. I actually did not buy this. My tita bought it for me and then she just gave it to me. Yes, she gave me an entire bucket of chocolate chip cookies. That is how much I like it. So a special shout out to my tita Florence for getting me this from Singapore. One of the places I also went to is called Mustafa. It is this enormous department store. I think it's four or five floors and it's they sell everything. They have food, they have furniture, they have art stuff, they have anything you can think of, they sell it. And I only bought a few things from there but I had such a good time going around. The first thing I got is this set of Versace perfume. So this is what you get in each pack. So you get all of these. I actually got this because um, I really like the smell of most of these, except for maybe this one. I think it's super cute to have, you know, little miniature perfumes in my room. And these Versace perfumes smell so good. I spent a good 30 minutes in the perfume section because I wanted to find a nice new scent for me and this is the one I am going with. My favorite from here is actually this pink one, the Versace Bright Crystal. It smells the best. Then second place would be the Yellow Diamond and then the rest, I don't know, they're okay. Anyway, <laughs> this pack costs 39 SGD but if you buy two packs, you can buy it for $70 for both. So that's what I did. I only have one pack left because I gave out the other pack but this entire pack is mine and I'm so excited to use these little mini baby perfumes. I also got a suitcase from Mustafa. This one actually, I bought it because my suitcase broke. Well, I didn't break it. It was actually the airline I took which was Scoot and I checked in my bag and the handle just broke off like this part of my suitcase was just broken and obviously I didn't do that because why would I? So when I got it back and it was broken, I just realized why not just buy a new one? So I found one in Mustafa. Check it out. It's nice and black and it's hard shell and it's, it's the one that 
rolls you can roll it sideways or whatever and um, the brand of this is Santa Barbara Polo and Racket Club so yeah this one this was such a great find for me because usually suitcases like this cost about what 3,000 to 5,000 but this one this brand new beautiful suitcase just cost me 29 SGD in Philippine peso that's about 1,200 pesos for this brand new beautiful suitcase so yes, one of my best finds yet. There is no way that I would go to Singapore and not go to Ikea. Like, there's just no way. So of course, I went to Ikea. I actually went to Ikea twice, but the first time I went there, I didn't really buy anything. I really just went around. It's actually fun to hang out in Ikea, you know, check out the stuff, buy some food. Anyway, so I ended up buying stuff from Ikea, even though I didn't think I actually would because they just sell furniture and stuff like that, right? I had such a good time in Ikea. I really, really wish Ikea would open here in the Philippines because I would buy all of my furniture from Ikea. It's just so beautiful and you know how much I love white and most of their furniture there is just white. So, my aesthetic and it's very affordable. So, I really hope they open here. <laughs> I mean, I heard rumors that they will open here. I just don't know. If it's true, I mean that's that's why it's called a rumor. Anyway, okay. The first thing I got from IKEA is ta-da! This beautiful fur thing. Actually, what's this called? Um, I guess it's a small fur rug. Yeah, it's pretty small. It's just it's big. So this one is the. It's called a ten. That's the name. Ten. T e j n. So this is actually made out of. Oh, this is from Australia, and it says it should be hand washed. And there are other languages on this. Anyway, all right. So this is it. This is such a beautiful fur rug, and you guys know that I am obsessed with fur. So of course I bought this. Of course I did. This one actually cost 19 SGD. So that's pretty good. I think that's a pretty good price, considering it's so soft. It's so beautiful. It's the perfect shade of white. I mean, look at that. Look at this beautiful rug. <laughs> the last thing I bought from Ikea is this. That is right, you guys. I bought furniture from Ikea and I brought it to the Philippines. I just, I just couldn't help myself. This is actually a Gladum table. So it is a gold side table. It's one of those side tables wherein you can take the top part off and you can use it as a tray. So I thought that was really cool. This one was on sale for 19 SGD. So the original price was I think 30 SGD and then it was on sale for 19 SGD. So yeah, I I bought one. <laughs> My friends thought I was crazy to buy furniture but I mean, why not? This side table actually cost me 800 pesos and it's from Ikea and it's beautiful. That's it for this haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out all of the awesome stuff I got on my travels. Thank you so, so much for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Mwah.